happening. I was just passing by, saw a poster. Uh, my curiosity uh, drove me here. Uh, so I was really curious to ask, uh, you know, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> And what are you doing here? And secondly, <laughs> this is a curiosity kind of a superficial question. <laughs> and since it seems that you are a spiritual and um, spiritually inclined uh, person, what's the difference between consciousness and awareness? Because this has been a question that I have been pondering on recently. Uh, so thank you in advance for taking, <laughs> dealing with this. So your question was, who are you? And I think if I understood your question correctly, it's in the context of the the spiritual, let's say, masters, teachers, offerings that one comes across perhaps in Tiruvannamalai but also in the Indian subcontinent. We have um, a very ancient system, in fact it's the most ancient system of spiritual transmission which, which is called Guru Vada uh, and the transmissions happen through the Guru Shishya Parampara which is where there's a spiritual master who has students who learn from that master. They learn actually self-realization processes which lead them to themselves, knowledge of self. And they also learn enlightenment processes which lead them to a knowledge of the cosmic, let's say, consciousness. So this is a... Guru Vada is actually a pillar, a very important pillar of the Sanatana Dharma. Sanatana Dharma is the eternal dharma, the eternal way of life practiced in the subcontinent and now also in many parts of the world. In the Sanatana Dharma, it is the living masters that hold up the dharma, that uphold it, which means they transmit knowledge of self-realization and enlightenment based on their own experience to their students which also keeps alive the trajectory of spirituality, always bringing up the new uh, that has been realized. Regarding your question about awareness and consciousness, awareness is the perception of being conscious. And consciousness is the perception of existence. If one is pedantic about these, uh, about the meanings attributed to these words, one misses out the actual point, which is, what are you experiencing? It's not about what you read in a book. That is conceptual, let's say, conceptual awareness of something, but it still isn't experience. An adhyatmic guru, a spiritual guide, is somebody who directly shows you yourself, who turns your gaze inward, who continuously directs you to the self, which is the soul within you. It is imperative to have a spiritual guide to show you the self, just as you would have a doctor to, you know, heal you in one area, or a lawyer to take care of your... Finally, an adhyatmic guru is a simple job which certain people are qualified to do and others not. I'm sitting here more actually to say, hey, you know, you have a soul, you were born with an antar atman, a soul, trying to detach from your actions and, and moving into an identification with the cosmic soul within is actually not conducive to living here in this body, in the here and the now. And the process of tuning into that here and now is what actually is being spoken about here. So who am I? I'm one who speaks that. There's no, there's no need to actually even know the difference between awareness and consciousness. The focus is more on where is the ego in this action of mine?
is this action of mine inspired by the ego or is it inspired by the truth of my existence which is the soul? And the future of spirituality, that trajectory is going to increasingly be the training of the human being in detecting the impulse of the soul over and above the loud and clamoring and demanding noise of the ego. It is a signal we look for and we circumvent the noise. So the focus is very strongly on the experience of the soul and living a life inspired in every moment by the impulse of the soul. It is our responsibility to, to be this and to be this in surrender in every moment, bending down in surrender, samarpan, 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 in surrender to the Supreme Soul which is individualized in us as the Antaratman. And now it would be nice, you asked me who I am, now it would be nice if you started to know who you are. 